Теперь на кнопочку зажг лайс. Все, we are live. And hi everybody, I'm uh, going to do today different thing. So right now I'm looking for this Center for Disaster Philanthropy. So there is a, uh, I just uh, logged on online to Leeches, and I see they have in two hours they have uh, this uh, 24 hour charity tournament, which will donate uh, some Norwegian money to the. CDP COVID-19 Response Fund. Um, okay, so why not? Let's uh, join this. I guess I'll play as many games as I can. But uh, because we have just more time before that, so let's play some other chess. And this time I want to play some um, um, chess where I'm going to go for the rating. So we have some leaderboards. Let's check. We have uh, challengers. We have whispers here. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's do three plus two. Солнышко, можешь проверить, если у меня работает мой этот Twitch, just in case. А, ну ладно, окей, я сам так проверю. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So let's see. Time to get some rating points today. That's my goal. So we have a first viewer, which is probably my wife. Yeah. I think so. No. I have to. Okay, so there is one more in addition. Right. So I'm curious. There must be some other events also going on. So we'll take a quick um, look at those events. And um, right now we are going to play some chess, some simple chess, nothing um, too hard. So. Six ninety-four. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? I like that phrase. Uh, when um, Hulk refused to, you know, be called upon in the Avengers Endgame. You know, when they just needed him in that scene when the spaceship comes and that alien uh, mage, like he's saying, like uh, Rink. Uh, Protector, do these guys speak for you, right? So in that scene, if you guys remember, they've been trying to call Hulk to, you know, to help them. And then he was, Bruce was trying really hard. I was like saying, come on, man, come on. And then Hulk goes like, no. That was, that was cool. Um, hmm. So let's play Queen C8. Hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, that was probably a lousy, uh, lousy um, imitation of that uh, scene, but okay, I was, I was doing my best, okay. Um, yeah, so, so that's, uh, that, that's what you guys did, right? So you said no, and I was like, that scene immediately comes to mind. Um, hmm. Usually you should grab the pawns. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, Herholta. Hi, Cruel. Best boost beast chess by and dog. Wow, Rubix Anon. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, today I'm gonna try to play uh, for some of these uh, rating points. Lee Chess, how are you? I am great. Um, so I apologize if you guys were expecting me to play you guys, but I want to. Um, get some rating up, but that means I probably should challenge the higher rated guys, except I don't know how to do that. So let's grab this probably bishop. Maybe I should grab the knight, I don't know. Um, I should probably play a six at some point. Right, but okay, let's grab this thing. Actually, I don't like what I did. Um, my bishops are not that great. Um, good, good. How are you guys? Um, 
So I need to find uh, in preferences somewhere in the chest where I can uh, do, the, do the limits. Um, there should be the button with the preferences where I can play. Of course, that might mean that um, there will be nobody who wants to play me. But let's see, let's test it, right? So sometimes uh, the best thing to do is just go test uh, stuff. So, all right, so he gets this guy, and um, I probably need to hit this guy, but then queen c6. And um, my bishop is really not that great. So let's play bishop e7, prevent queen c6. And because I'm trying to, you know, get rid of this knight, right? You can create new game with rating difference. I can tell you after you finish your game. All right, thank you. That would be nice. Thank you very much. Um, so let's see. There is kind of move that I'm afraid of, but um, he didn't find it. Um, so I should probably play a5 here. I'll make sure that bishop gets to c5. Greetings, greetings, how are you? Hello, everybody, nice to see you guys. So bishop c6, I'm actually getting low on time. Hmm, that's not cool. But I do have extra pawn. So bishop f8 is coming, knight c8, bishop f8, right? And bishop f8 I have to play. There is simply no other choice. Bishop gets to c5. And our bishops are now powerful. So king here. I am long time though. Very long time. Uh, g5. So it's a lot of quick thinking. Grab six. A lot of quick, quick, quick thinking. Take, take. Question d4. Maybe not the greatest move. Grab. And I want to trap his knight. Yeah, we succeeded. We got your knight. All right, but this is winning, man. All right, you can try to flag me, but nobody can flag me here. Yeah. Uh, you missed me yesterday. Uh, well, I probably mentioned it. Uh, I'm going to do the streams only three times a week. Uh, because I need uh, to recharge. Yesterday I had three crazy uh, streams. and uh, But that also gives me time to do some content. So if you guys remember, I started the World Championship Series um, on Steinitz. So yesterday I did uh, the, um, the game number 12, right? For YouTube, I had to figure out how to do that. You know, how to upload that damn thing. That damn thing took me like three hours to upload. So... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make the uh, YouTube button on my Twitch. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So, um, and then you can guys go to my YouTube channel. In fact, I can probably show you my YouTube channel right here. So let's go YouTube. And um, that is my YouTube channel. And if you guys can see this, um, Oh, I'm actually multi-streaming. Cool. Okay, so this is the uh, this is one hour ago, right? Um, so this is uh, the game, game twelve of the time. match. Okay. So and uh, this is my channel. So if you guys you can find me by this um, picture. Uh, I think my wife took this picture of me. So thank you for that. So this is my channel. It has some playlists. Has some old, very old videos. I actually saved them somehow. So there was like. Um, I don't know. So there were a lot of videos. So this is my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna do, at least I'm gonna try to do, uh, to continue my World uh, Championship Series, but I'm gonna do the, the, them on um, separate videos, so you guys don't waste your time, because not all of you are interested in that stuff, but if you are, you know, come and check uh, my YouTube regularly, and see if I uploaded any news. I'm gonna try to upload at least one game per um, Per day that I'm not, um, 
you know, uh, um, streaming, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do that. That will be a lot of games because I'm thinking to do a separate video for one game. Uh, because, you know, the way I did it before, punching like 11 games together was not really that great, I think, because uh, uh, those champions, those matches deserve a huge note of respect. That means uh, they all prepare for each game, you know, uh, they spent a lot of time on that, so I'll try to respect that and I'll try to spend, um, you know, uh, be focused on uh, one game at a time. Okay, so somebody told me that I can do... Alright, uh, being a perk of being my all-time friend uh, allows you to play one game against me. I'll also have uh, separate days for playing you guys. I'll have some surprise days. I don't guarantee them every week where I'll play everybody. I'll also have uh, days a week. Doing, I'm going to do what is pretty popular among the other chess streamers. They're playing their subscribers, right? So I'll do that uh, on that day only. And of course, we're going to continue our streaming. Uh, but Webmaster, because he's my old-time friend, he gets... Um, Big, uh, big break, right? Okay. So bishop a6, impossible takes queen a4 check. Let's um, do this. Now I want to play bishop a6, and why sometimes plays queen e2, right? A chance to lose. Uh, a chance to give you a a chance, yeah, to win. Um, uh, thank you for um, supporting me, guys. You know, I felt like you know who wants to see me stream, right? I'm I'm, I'm really, okay, let's admit it, I'm old, I'm 45 years old, I'm not that good looking, right? Okay, so we have only my name, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a female with a cute face, right? So, what's there to see? So, hopefully, you know, um, I compensate for my uh, uh, looks with my uh, wisdom and knowledge, right? Okay, so let's hope that is enough. Um, Alright, white is stuck with the bishop on c1. Uh, immediately knight goes to e4 then and we kick this knight out that's the whole principle of uh, the Dutch defense waiting for white to play knight f2 so I can play f5 and protect my asset on e4 um, or we can just play f5 immediately anyway and then there is a question, should I take this guy or just uh, ignore him? Uh, it's a difficult question. I usually like to not allow my opponent uh, to have uh, too much central presence. On the other hand, he does want to play bishop h4 and that's not something that I want to see. So I'm thinking maybe queen e7 first. But then some things start to happen, right? Okay, um, yeah, I really don't want to see that bishop h4 coming. But okay, let's see what if I do just the queenside expansion, what will that do to me? So let's see that. Rook b8, just straightforward b5, b4, you know, going for that uh, thing. Taken with the deep one. Um, Andre managed to improve his bishop. Good, good job. And uh, now his bishop is good, right? So I have to exchange it. Or I will be faced with a worse uh, game. So let's exchange this bishop right away. And uh, he tries to do this thing. Fine, let's play h5 for now, prevent the g4 just in case. Talk again when I'm 70. Ooh, is that a threat? Uh, we all are born, getting old, and we die. Not necessarily in that sequence, but uh, just normal thing, right? So, so a5. I'm, I'm, I'll try to be sneaky here. Leave this rook on f7. I'll try to keep my rooks um, very maneuverable, right? So they can double anytime at the call. Um, Hmm. All right, let's exchange the queen. I don't like active pieces on my opponent's part. So let's do that. And then we will eventually will try to go and make a play for that b4. 
or there is another plan which I'm not gonna sound uh, live just not to give my opponent heads up yeah why give your opponent some benefits of knowing my plans in advance so king g6 for now um, g4 looks kind of cool but maybe not yet yeah all right so rook b8 let's keep with our plan keep up there is this thing f4 I'm looking at it but uh, so far I'm not liking it because of uh, simple rook f1 right uh, and then I cannot take on e3 my rook is uh, white is better I respectfully disagree sir I absolutely respectfully disagree because now black is better he gives me f4 break and uh, he also gives me this and now f4 is the reality and now we have two pass pawns in the center which seems to be a huge thing for me and we're ready even to play b4 and try to break through on the queen side as well so let's play b3 of course b takes c3 was probably more pressing rook g3 and e3 check and to be honest it seems like white is in a huge trouble now right king e4 f3 just probably plus nine i would say can you divulge what was the other plan the f4 yeah uh, i mentioned like g4 g3 just to keep f4's possibility but f4 was always uh, in mind so it's a juggling of threads between f4 and b4 right so um, you see how he played really well in the middle game he transfers his bad bishop to the d6 square and then white equalized but then you know the moment i exchanged the queens white a little bit started drifting there uh before that he played a great game but then he started drifting he started playing those inaccurate moves like h3 allowing me to fix his pawn structure with h4 um i believe white should have just stayed put you know and um waited for me to play b4 because if i play b4 he can take and then that rule goes after my e6 pawn right he doubles on the a5 and then rook can go to c6 and i believe uh, white is uh, completely fine so somebody told me that i can do advanced search maybe how do you do the 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 preferences um you can click on create a game on the right um play create a game uh, and there you can adjust the ratings of your opponents hmm. okay let's see that um, oh great thank you well today I apologize I'm not gonna play you guys too much I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try to sneak in okay let's make it 3-0 let's make it rated and I'll try to okay 20 50 right standard time control I'm gonna try to get my rating up and just press the king right random side okay so let's see if anybody accepts my challenge we have uh, somebody who is a brave soul enough to accept my challenge so let the rating wars begin also, I mentioned at the beginning of my channel, you guys see here, they have the, um, uh, there was an announcement, they have the charity tournament for the COVID thing, and I decided to join the tournament, it goes for 24 hours, so you can uh, all join the tournaments and do your thing, I would even say, go and far and say, do the right thing and do what any chess player would do for your brother, join the tournament and just play as much as you can okay um rook d1 a4 and i'm gonna try to oh he actually allows me to play d5 with the tempo the game now transposes into the um, benoni type of position but i'm not gonna allow black to play e6 of course and this is a good benoni because i have the c4 square firmly under control right and it's a perfect square for a knight because if black plays ever b5, the knight goes to a5 to c6. 
Are you going to play for 24 hours? No, I'm too old for that. No 24 hour play for me. However, I'll play for as long, uh, I'll play for two hours actually right now. And uh, then I'll make a, I'll take a, a quick break for an hour or so, you know, get some food, get some more energy. And then I'll probably stream for another, um, for some more time. Okay. Since my opponent is an FM, it means a still good, very strong opponent. Uh, I need to think, you know, I'm 10, 12 seconds behind. It's not that great. Um, I need to come up with a plan. And the plan is push pawns, attack. That's the plan. So he's preparing for the, um, for knight a5. Now we probably have to take this, although I can play a5, but let's take this. Ooh. Uh, this is the kind of the uh, deal that I cannot refuse. It's a very good deal for me. Rook a1. Two rooks for the queen. And attack. Perfect. Perfect deal. h5. Let the attack continue. Mm. g5 maybe. Fix the bishop back to h8, and now I can play even e5 because he cannot take this pawn really. Um, rook a5. And try to get to his king. So, okay. Um, just maybe to be on the safe side. Bishop g3 something. Let's see if he can try to grab this pawn. Can he, can he grab this pawn? I don't know. Uh, however, uh, if I play rook d1... Um, okay, so let's play c4. Let's try to block this whole thing. Uh, knight takes c4. Probably not the greatest move in the world. Um, knight back to e3, I guess, or check first. Yeah, that was not the greatest move in the world. Um, Hmm. Yeah, it can be actually worse here. Yep, definitely not better. Definitely not better anymore. So I'm going to go after this d6 pawn, knight c4, whatever it takes. Um, on the other hand, he can do that, yes. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, so black is winning. Black is winning. My sacrifices backfired completely. And I'm a long time. Alright, so that's what happens when you underestimate your opponent. You start playing like um, you got everything under control. Which you, which I didn't. Mm -hmm. Check. Okay, one long time as well. Not a great combo. Yep, black wins this game. Ninety-four check was called, of course was much better. Yep, another blunder. Okay, good job by this guy. Let's do the rematch. Not bad. Okay, there were a lot of moves there. Um, obviously, White was winning some point, but then uh, I started uh, giving up stuff for nothing. C4 was obviously a key mistake. Why is he not accepting? 
Um, okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Okay. Fandorin! Isn't that the same guy who plays on chess.com? Your toughest opponent in classical chess. Um, that's a tough question to ask. Toughest opponents. Mm, a lot of guys were. Everyone was very dangerous. At the top, all, all top 50 guys are really dangerous. And then there's bishop f6. I have to play this move. Knight e7. Knight goes to f5. Right? You have problems playing the most. Well, okay. All the world champions were obviously hard. Right? That's by definition. Um, among the top 10, of course, there were plenty of uh, guys. 6. Let's play f6. Why not? a5 trying to knit the counterplay in the bud develop he didn't take my pawn thank you <laughs> uh, blunderville yeah okay blunderville rook c8 um thank you so much i appreciate your um, kindness Okay, knight goes to d5, so let's play king h8, try to bring stuff under control. I'm not sure where this bishop goes, but I just didn't like him on e7. Kind of like to get rid of this knight on d5, though it's probably impossible. But for now, just keep things uh, simple. Push the bishop back to b8, I guess. And prepare this h6, f5. Because I think that will be the right way to play this position. Hmm. Maybe bishop t7 first, just to make sure he doesn't have knight a4 trick. So he wants to play b4. Let's check his intentions. Um, I don't know. Should I check his intentions? I mean, his intentions are pretty obvious, right? He wants to play this, and if I play a4 myself, try to blockade the queen side, what is gonna happen? Um, well, Gary beat me like at least uh, 15 games to one. You can uh, check the statistics. I'm sure there are a lot of websites that offer that kind of stuff. I want to change this knight. He probably should play knight c1, try to get rid of my knights. So he plays this, and then we just go forward then. And we try to go directly for the king. Queen g5, f3, so maybe f3 looks good. And we also have rook c6, rook h6, right? That'll be quite something, don't you think, guys? Imagine this rook being transferred to this uh, perfect square. Uh, on, the other th on the other hand, he wants to grab my pawn. Mm. Okay, so we can uh, repeat the move, so we can try to play for a win here. Let's try to play for a win. I mean, it's a friendly game, but still. Uh, he wants to grab this pawn. Okay, so I'll give you the pawn, but I'll get my bishop into the game. Is that a fair deal? The bishop gets to e7, gets to g5. I think that's a pretty good deal to me, right? The, the bishop on b8 was doing absolutely, absolutely nothing. And now the bishop on g5 is a monster! Look at white knight on g1. My god. That's such a poor fella. Um... Queen f6, queen goes to h6. Uh, I need to do something there. So probably rook e8. There is a subtle threat of uh, grabbing that uh, thing somewhere. 
what is the thing? I don't know, don't ask. Um, but there is uh, the thing, right? So, uh, why did I play g6? I just took away the square from the bishop. Of course he plays this move. Of course he plays this move. Of course. Um, but I have a pawn, suddenly. Suddenly it's not the uh, end of the world. I have my a pawn. A pawn save me! Ooh, rookie one. Great. Looks good. Boom. Boom! Thank you! Thank you! It was a great uh, game. The comments are given to me here. You know, there is a such thing as like, I have no clue. Usually I have no thoughts in my head, it's just empty head. And then whatever comes to mind, I just uh, say it. Um, I know it, it sounds ridiculous, yeah, but uh, it's true. Um, so that's uh, that. That gives you another meaning to the word "empty your mind." You know what I mean? You know, you probably heard it a lot. People saying like "empty your mind." My mind is already empty, so um, that's helpful. Okay. Oh, somebody plays the hippo against me. Knight g6, knight g3, and I do this thing because I find it uh, uh, the uh, most unpleasant when I play hippo myself. Because knight on g3 wants to go to h5, right? Well, I cannot be like water, right? So let's not pretend I'm water. But that f5 square I will take. It doesn't matter if I have empty head or not. It doesn't matter. Um, G3, probably the best way, because uh, I'm not afraid of uh, Black's attack, uh, because by knight on f5, he just, um, you know, he blocks everything, right? It's just an amazing knight. And my plan is now to play knight h2, knight g4, bring the second knight to the game. So let's see how that works out. Uh, thank you for following. Uh, thank you for joining. We have 97 people in the channel. I appreciate your coming to see me. Um, today I'm playing some rated games and I'll play that uh, charity event on the chess. So I suggest you all uh, join. And um, I will grab this stuff if you give me because I believe that grabbing stuff can be a good thing sometimes. So let's take with the bishop. Because the bishop now will protect my king from all the bad people here on the king side. Let's bring the knight back to f5. Because I want to give him check on g7 and I want to eliminate the central knight on e5 because it's just way too strong. And just as I teach you guys, eliminate your best opponent's pieces. Um, right, so he wants to do this. Um, now the question is uh, how I'm going to protect my king, right? Because he's kind of vulnerable. I agree. He is vulnerable. So let's put the rook on a3 first. That rook will be later going and attacking his king on the king side, on the queen side, because that's the only way black is going. Um, I don't think he wants really to take stuff, but... Um, I don't know. Uh, what is 97 check doing? Uh, 97 ch check is probably doing nothing. But I wanted to play knight d5, really. And block the queen. But I don't like it, yeah, because black can just play c6 or something here. Jan is on chest 24. Gary is not. No, Gary is not on chest 24. God doesn't like chess 24 guys anymore. I just don't like these guys. So I'm sorry if I'm if you guys missed me on chess 24, but um, I'm not gonna be there for quite some time. So uh, King G2. Ooh. All right. So this is very defensive. Black outplayed me. I must admit that. He completely outplayed me here. My only chance is to keep his queen on a1. 
I don't know for how long I can keep it there. Um, so let's knight c4. Um, obviously, I'm playing a strong grandmaster. I mean, it's uh, pretty obvious, right? The way he just handles his pieces, he knows where to put them. So queen goes to h5, obviously. Um, so let's grab this pawn. At the same time, we prevent queen h5. We attack the, this thing, queen f7. Uh, I'm sort of asking him, are you playing for win, dude? And um, it's a reasonable question, right? On the other hand, I can probably take on g5, yeah? But that'll be really sneaky. That'll be really sneaky, probably wrong. Okay, so let's play queen f7. Let's do a rematch. Jal. Are you using engines preparation trainings these days? Dude, I'm streaming uh, almost every day, but starting from today, I'm just gonna stream three times a week, and then I'm gonna do YouTube content, so you can uh, say that I am done with professional chess, and I am moving on to the modern age um, job for the all retirees. Uh, streaming, commenting, YouTube stuff, etc., etc. T5, uh, probably a good uh, time to Check this out, tank in the center. Knight g4 and t4. Will we see on your YouTube channel? That's a great question. What kind of content would you like to see on my channel? So, right back at you. I would appreciate you guys, uh, you know, uh, going to my channel on YouTube, uh, seeing those videos and leaving some comments. Uh, I will write those things down, um, you know, I have some already videos there, but if you can leave, uh, again, your comments, I would welcome them. So, uh, if you give me some suggestions, what do you want me to do on my YouTube channel, what you would you like to see, and I'll try to do that, it's as simple as that. So let's create something magnificent together, okay, I need to get rid of this knight. Um, because a5 is coming. Uh, cattle analyze is the best content. Um, hmm. I appreciate that. Um, why did I just give up my bishop? Auf. Auf is uh, just not gonna. Auf is not enough to mention what I just did. Yeah. I just gave him my best bishop, only to do some absolutely crazy, ridiculous thing. And it's not even working. Yeah. So Alf is just uh, not even gonna mention it. So okay, knight a5. Let's try to be sneaky, create some tactics because positionally I am worse. Um, my goal is to try to limit the damage with the white's uh, bishop on f2 coming to the game. If that bishop comes into into the game, I'm dead. All right, that's just it. I'm just simply dead. Um, can I play a game? Um, normally, I would play everyone, but because uh, because today is a special day, sort of, um, I'm trying to you know, create some content for you guys here by, you know, playing uh, chess against strong uh, people here. Um, so allow me to do this, alright? Um, I'm sorry if that is uh, not what you expected. But usually I play, you guys, I would definitely make a day a week when I play all my subscribers. And there will be surprise days when I'll, I will play everyone. Those will be rare though, okay? I'll, I'll tell you straight. Um, but, uh, again, I'm just starting, um, so I'll make mistakes, right? So hopefully you can forgive me in advance for doing all those stupid mistakes that I will do. And we can enjoy some great stuff together. Using the fact that he cannot play bishop d4 right now. Uh, thank God, yeah. And now we're gonna do some active uh, rook stuff and try to 
pin him on the first second rank somewhere uh, so that means rook e4 grab this pawn as well if he allows me to um, but if I take it then c6 rook c5 and that means I will lose a piece probably so I have to play rook c4 now king walks and if king e2 then uh, uh, some checks probably. Okay, so let's attack this rook. Ah, but I cannot take on c5, my god. That was so sneaky by my opponent. It's very sneaky. Okay, king d7 then. Oh, he was a long time you can analyze your classical games um, right I, I will do uh, I, I will probably do that as well I will probably do that right now I'm working on this world chess uh, matches because I don't think um, those have been done at the top level on the video usually people do that you know they write books and stuff and then they sell them later you know it's a lot of work but I think it uh, makes more sense now because you know the modern age in technology uh, the modern age right they allow us to you know you know just to go over the game deep enough not to make it uh, like a caricature but you know so that 30 minute video i made i think you guys enjoyed it um, got some pointers i thought it was an amazing game those people e even the original first uh, world championship matches you know th those guys they played amazing chess i was really bloody amazed to be honest um okay bishop b2 your quick gift match against sam would be good start uh that will probably include the london system i will i'll probably have to make the london system because if i don't make london system you guys will be upset right so i will have to i'll have to do some videos on that obviously um because i cannot allow you to be upset right Okay, queen e2, um, knight h5, of course, but then queen e3. Probably black should have played bishop h6 first, because then I would not have this opportunity to play this queen e3 stuff. g5 um, is a tricky thing. Let's play knight e5 now, try to improve my knight. That knight can go to g4. Uh, I can try to play queen f3. Is there a knight f7 thing? I don't think so, but okay, let's improve the knight first. And um, I like my position. I, f I have a feeling that white should be better. Because if knight f4, I can probably even play g3 here. I'm not sure if I actually threaten after knight h3, king g2 actually to take that knight. But uh, it is. It will be awkward for black, right? Uh, what is the black opening? It looks very safe. Uh, it is one of the systems by black against the London system. Um, what do you mean videos for sale? I'm going to do videos on YouTube for free. They're not for sale. Who is doing stuff for, 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 for sale on YouTube? I don't know anybody. Um, unless you can lie to me. Uh, I think most of the stuff is free on YouTube, right? Um, that's the whole culture right there. But I can be wrong again. But still, th those are educational videos. Educational videos should be free, in my opinion, right? Because uh, you can find uh, a lot of that stuff anyway on, uh, on the internet somewhere. But, you know, I, I, I'm putting my effort, I'm putting my best uh, knowledge and uh, sharing that knowledge uh, with the with you guys so hopefully you guys um, you know uh, get some benefit from all that stuff okay I'm not sure about this queen h3 but I just wanted to grab this pawn back um, probably I don't know I just started dude right now I want to make my channel look good and have some good content because um, you know I'm more worried about my brand right now. 
I just want to create my brand. You know, people know me in chess, right? But they know me as a player. I don't think a lot of people know me as the um, um, as the commentator or the YouTube guy, right? So I'm trying to sort of change that perception a little bit. Hmm. Okay. So I probably have to play f3 here. Of course, black plays this move immediately. He's trying to get the stuff. Uh, knight has to go somewhere. I want to play b3, but then on the other hand, where's this guy going? No clue, right? Okay, but since I don't have much time, let's just uh, put this knight somewhere on e3. Um, g4 looks good, right? I don't want to undouble these pawns. So potentially I want uh, my uh, king... Ah, he wants to take on a 3 now. I see. He wants to take there. Mm -hmm. Not as easy as I wanted, yeah. So it definitely looks like black is having a good game. Um, I misjudged my opponents. He's playing good chess. He actually... Right. I think I should be still okay, but um, clearly black is doing fine. C3, knight C4. Um, take, take. Rook E1. Uh, probably have to take it. King G3. Oh, I'm blundering bishop F5. Right. Okay, bishop E5 was winning immediately. Um, Candidates quarterfinals. Right, I, I will do some of my uh, famous things. So I will do those uh, matches. Big tournament with prizes starting in one hour. I think that's a charity tournament, right? So, um, so it is. Uh, that's a good thing. So e6, all pretty standard. Bishop d6, I believe here is the thing. <coughs> Although I forgot, it has to be very precise, no? Um, rook b8. And the knight goes to e7. That is the trick behind playing c5 early. Uh, that way, you can do some stuff like play knight g6, for example, right? And then knight goes to f4. So, that is important. Um, 6. That was a fantastic game. Uh, I got killed with white. Uh, my opponent was... Um, uh, it was an Aeroflot Open. If you guys can find that game, uh, it will be a very good educational experience for you. I can almost guarantee that. Bishop probably to g6. Uh, should probably castle here. Ah, okay, yeah, let's castle. Let's see. Ah, g3. Ah, so he's doing sneaky. Ooh, white is being sneaky. I don't want to put my knight on h5. Okay, so white is better. So bishop g6 was inaccurate. I should have played um, bishop f7 first. So let's play bishop f7. Um, and g5, I guess, yeah. So let's go all in. Let's go g5. Let's see what my opponent does. My knight in h5 is absolute disaster, though. We'll be playing the tournament, so the uh, the uh, charity tournament, right? I'll I'll I'll, I'll probably play this tournament. Uh, I'll take a break from uh, right now. It's almost six, right? I'll be playing until seven. I don't want to exchange the queens, so that is a no. Um, and then I'll take a one hour break, but then I'll be back and I'll play some games in the charity event, for sure. Okay, so King G7. And let's do F5 probably, yeah? Let's go F5. Just want to bring my knight back to F6, really. Um, Rook E8. I think black is okay. I would be happy if my knight was on d6 instead of c6, but um, 
you can't have everything, right? Uh, so let's play a four, king this knight out, and let's play ninety seven. I cannot play ninety seven actually. Ooh, I blundered that. So maybe queen d six first. No, I don't want that. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, this guy is killing me here again. Um, b6, knight is knight a6, queen has to go. And if b5, I'll have to play knight d8. Not that great, so b6. That was the idea to try to kick this knight out. Knight goes to e5. Mm, knight d7 then. Okay. Uh, let's play then e5. I have no choice. I have no choice then. I should have played. Uh, I should have played e5 immediately instead of knight d7. Uh, allowing white to get to that square is actually good for him. Uh, e4 take take take. I lose in tactics, right? So knight a5. Grab, grab. Rook goes to c8. Um, I sort of get a little compensation. It's not enough. Rook c7 or bishop e6 maybe even. Let's exchange this bishop. Trying to hold on to my uh, pieces here. Maybe get into the rook end game. Although I'm not uh, sure I will be able to make a draw there, but okay, knight c4. Think I'm okay now. Uh, here. Da -da -da -da. H5 probably. 96. I don't know. Um, Let's be aggressive. Let's play ninety three, right? I mean ninety six is uh, boring. It's probably a draw. Um, what what is what is he doing? What is he doing? Uh, I can play king e six, dude. I can play that, and then I can just grab the pawn. Okay, so we can make a draw this way. Ah, no draw. He says no draw. Ah, okay, you went on time. Good job. All right, so how many rating points I lost uh, so far? I don't know. Do you play 10-minute chess? Notebooks with notations. Um, uh, no. I used to have all that stuff. Is this guy actually streaming? Can you guys check? I'm pretty sure he's also streaming. Uh, will be fun. 3-1? Nah, come on. You know, it's a friendly match, uh, and that's, that was a fair flag, so... I have no, um, no columns about that. That was a fair flag. Lots of play, lots of play on the board. Um, a lot of play on the board. Okay, let's play b5, knight d5. Bring the best to the table. Now I don't want to exchange your knight. You can have your knight, sir. I want to play f4. I want to go attack. He's not streaming? Okay. So he has one advantage in, you know, that I'm streaming, but, you know, cheers, by the way. All right, so he has to play this, f4, and, of course, I should probably play f5. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. What is this? Uh, does he want to take on f5? He might. So let's block him. Let's play g4. Let's go full blockade. Um, 
probably not the best move. In the tournament, I'll probably take on g6 and play something like h4, followed by bishop h3, exchanging bad bishop for the good bishop, a lot of positional play. But this is not tournament, right? Who wants the tournaments when you can have fun? And I want to grab the spawn. So let me grab the spawn. Because that's an important pawn. I want to play d4 later. So now black is uh, faced with the task. And I grab with this. He has to take the knight. You have to take the knight. Because knight c6 d4 is just uh, kaput. It's just quit. End. Um, queen c4. He's preparing knight b3 probably. And I'm going to go for this d4 e5 break at some point. So let's see if this works out. Um, rook f2. Just being, being very careful. Preparation is the key. Um, bishop f3. Playing slowly. I am not in a rush. Not in the rush. Not in the rush. We are not in the rush. Uh, probably maybe a good idea actually to exchange the queens here. Uh, so he invites me to grab the spawn so I can open his uh, uh, thing, right? Okay. I don't really want to do that. So on the other hand, uh, it's an exchange. So let's play d4. Rook e2. Fight for the file. I fight for the file. I fight for the user. You guys remember Tron, right? I fight for the user. Yes. Um, 94 is the thing. Let's grab this thing then. We have a user. Um, let me just grab the spawn then. And this should be technically winning. Right. Exchange. Extra pawn. Can you speak German? No, but my wife loves German. Um, she speaks German fluently. So let's check. King h7 is a must. And then king, queen, queen, queen. I feel like I lost the track somewhere. I lost the track. King of g1. Queen e1. Uh, trying to create some sneaky moves, that's all. Nothing special, to be honest. Just trying to be very sneaky. Uh, king here. 93 check. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Jesus. What am I doing? What am I doing? He blundered the queen e6 check. Okay, but should have been winning though. Yeah, and he also blundered the 92 check, right? At some point. Um, any Tatar? No, I don't speak Tatar. So, what is the final score? It's 3 3. Yeah? Alright, thanks. Uh, I should tell him, like, thanks. That's pretty cool. Thanks for the games, dude. Alright. Um, let's see. So, let's go back for a second. Let's see to the main. Uh, uh, tournament, you see this? There is this uh, Relief Arena tournament, which is coming soon, soon, right? I am signed up for this thing. 
I'll probably play it one hour then later than it starts. So um, I think it's open for everybody, yeah. So it's everybody, everybody is invited. You guys should uh, play some. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. And um, okay, so let's create a game. Uh, ooh, I, I I thought I created a game, right? Okay, so let's continue our quest. Let's play some Grandmasters today, or some title guys. 2,395 players currently. Create Lich's streamer profile. I want to create Lich's profile, uh, streamer profile. It's just so much responsibility, I don't know if I can take it. I'm just starting streaming. I'm making some, trying to make some stuff, some content. Uh, maybe when I'll, you know, feel more confident uh, when I have done some stuff, have made more content, then I can do that. Have you ever played one against Anatoly Karpov? Yes, of course. Uh, quite a few games. I only beat Kasparov once, but Karpov I beat actually quite a few times. Uh, a lot of great uh, fighting games. Uh, even from, from some tournaments, I beat him in Tilburg. It was a fantastic tournament uh, game in 91. I was on the black side of Grunfeld. So if you didn't see that game, you know, feel free uh, to look at it. Uh, there was another fantastic game which I beat him. It was in, um, I believe, it was in Groningen. Um, it was '96. I mean, we had a, a lot of fighting games, uh, a lot of fighting caracons. Um, uh, it was huge theoretical discussions. I don't want to take this thing. Um, on the other hand, if I take and play bishop b5, right? Um, this looks um, interesting, at least. Because now you can go for this famous trick, right? Uh, this is famous trick because now black is, uh, due to the threat of h4, h5, black is forced to give up this bishop. And, in addition to that, being stuck with the best structure because he has to play h6 or h5 now. So, um, so that's the thing you always try to avoid uh, with black. So when I was playing Slav, this was one of the basic things I was looking at. And, right, so g5, and now you grab on g6, and black is stuck with the... Um, with a huge weakness. Um, thank you for following. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, so, bishop back, probably. Immediately hit the weak target. And um, probably knight f3, just to prevent that e5. I don't want to blow out too, too quickly. Now, now, what is the plan, right? It's not so simple because the position is blocked and black has uh, pretty good knights. Right, so how do we break open this position? So that is the real question now. And I would say that I have to go for this e4 break at some point. Right, so that's what we're going to try to prepare and do. Um, okay, this is smart. So let's play bishop g3. I invite him to take the bishop so I can double my pawns, but that opens my f file. Right, and then his king will be kind of open there. But if you, do, if you don't take, then I keep my uh, good structure alive. So that was my point. Uh, what else? Third place was mighty impressive. Uh, third place. What are you talking about? Um, I played, last 24 hours I played, I was third and had a headache for, for days. Oh. Well. Um, art requires sacrifice. Yes. Remember that. You know, you're creating art, it always involves sacrifices. So if I grab this thing here, what does black take with? Hmm. It's a very interesting question. Very interesting, even to me. Because I now, I, I now I have this 95 pawn takes e6 check thing, right? But the knight will be a great blockader, so I'm not sure I'm not sure if I should do that. On the other hand, um, what to do. Okay, so let's play rook e3, let's play safe. Uh, just double the stuff on the e-file, prepare, right? And if black plays knight f5, then I can uh, sort of th start thinking after that. Uh, right, see, this f5 square is key. So he takes, I have to take with the pawn, and now probably should I give him check first? 
or take immediately and rookie one. Okay, so let's try and play for the cheapo. Let's take here and play rookie one and let's pray he plays rookie eight because then I play g6 check. Okay? Just being between us, yeah? Um, what do you like to do when you're not playing chess? I have now started uh, uh, doing content for YouTube. Ye yesterday I spent like at least 12 hours trying to do that uh, one video. I made one, but then I didn't like how it looked. So I had to redo it. And I understand how tough this job is now, you know? Editing stuff. My god, those movies, those guys who are doing movies. I cannot imagine. Now, I always thought it was like, you know, okay, so special effects, you know, so big deal, right? Now I have huge respect for these guys. It is not simple at all. Boom! And now we have Rook and two pass pawns, and they're also far pass pawns. So White is completely winning. Now the only question is how to do it right. So let's do it right. Rook b6, we're not scared of king f7. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I knew basically nothing about um, editing and all that stuff. So I'm starting from the scratch, right? So that's what I'm saying. Uh, starting from the scratch, learning all that stuff, and plus trying to do it on a budget. Okay, rematch. Because, you know, all my money is long time ago and go, gone. Because I was young and stupid. Spend it when I was young. Yeah. So that's a good lesson for you. Don't spend too much money when you're young. You know, because you, you, you too will get old. And then... How you will make money? Unless you have, you're have being very smart. You have uh, very good financial uh, friends. You know, who can give you good advice. Set you up. You know. So it's important not to be stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, being smart and uh, being stupid, uh, unfortunately, I mean, being a good chess player, but at the same time not knowing what to do, uh, financially, uh, unfortunately, is quite popular. Because I was just, when I was going over those historical matches and the videos that I made, I uh, remember, uh, and I was reading about those guys. It turns out that Steinitz, he died um, in a charity hospital when he was old, right? He was he died. He had no money at all. It was a charity hospital. Unbelievable. World champion, dying in um, financial uh, dire situation. Also Lasker, right? Lasker. He was the uh, one of the greatest world champions ever. And look at what happened. He too died. Uh, I think in some. Uh, private hospital. He had to do lectures during his last years just to make ends meet. This is a disaster, you know? So let's not end up like these guys. Let's try not to. So 95 is a sneaky move. I invite him to take on f7 and then uh, setting a trap because he cannot play bishop b4 because of knight f3 check and rook is unprotected, right? So same thing. I'm planning if white plays bishop b4 then rook e6 um, right, and he cannot take this rook because of simple queen a8. So he does this, and I uh, have to play rook c8 probably. Although knight c6 was interesting. But now we try to simply simplify position. White has a great bishop on d5, I, I agree. But I think I have a great position. Because my knight is going to d4. And I'm a pre pretty happy camper here. Um, the only thing is, I want to um, fix white pawn structure here. So let's not do that mistake. So grab, probably knight takes, because I want to keep my bishop on the long diagonal, right? Have situation under control. It's absolutely important to have things under control. Uh, so can you do a Hippo Masterclass on YouTube, please? Um, not much better. So now we will have a serious question. Should I take on d5? Because um, if I take, he will get a strong pawn, right? So maybe, maybe not. So let's put the knight back on d4 where he belongs. Or at least we need to try to exchange some heavy pieces. Uh, preferably leaving uh, rook on. 
so I can uh, infiltrate somewhere queen to d7 maybe um, you know connecting the rook putting the rook on d file so rook goes to d8 knight to d4 as I mentioned before so bishop on d5 is pretty powerful yeah unfortunately that guy is pretty powerful so what are we going to do about this bishop on d5 I have no not the slightest clue probably I should go back just you know to 95 97 just exchanging this guy ideally I want to exchange the queens and ideally I want to exchange the um, the black colored bishops right get rid of bishop pair right right exactly um, What's easier said, said than done, right? So, king g7. Uh, trying to avoid all those tricky tactics, you know. We don't want that. Um, pum, 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 pum. I don't want to exchange queens, but uh, he forces me to. There is this knight h4 check, though, right? This is sneaky check. Will it work? No, probably not. Okay, so let's grab this thing. Rook d7. Um, mm, nope, don't like my position. That bishop on d5 is way, way too powerful. So I, I need to get rid of this guy. I need to play knight e7. And I need to kick this bishop out. This is just too good. Bishop d4, and now we play f5. And we kick this bishop for good. Let's kick him out for good. Good, now you see the, the drastic uh, change? You guys see it, right? The bishop on c2 and bishop on d5. Um, will you some better mick in the future? Yeah, I, I will. Um, I, I was looking uh, because my this this microphone is connected to my web camera. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to you know uh, get some money for better equipment, so I'll do that in the near future with your help, guys. By the way, with your help. Um, but in the meantime, you can guys, you know, write me your uh, recommendations on uh, what kind of uh, mic I should get. I know that the streamers use actually two computers, one for streaming and one for, uh, uh, for example, chat, right? So they do that. Oh, uh, I'm playing the same guy, right? Um, right, okay. So, um, uh, yeah, but that, uh, for now, the second computer is out of the question. One for stockfish. Ha ha ha. That's very funny. Uh, minor pieces, of course, but I like the extra piece more. Yes, extra piece is uh, is, is, is a good thing, right? Um, never underestimate the power of an extra piece. Do you still live in Germany? I never lived in Germany. Dudes, I don't know where you guys get all those uh, your information from. Uh, whoever was it who first said that I live in Germany? You should examine his uh, credentials. Let's put it that way. Okay. Count on Deutsch. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, newcomers. I'm trying to do the streaming thing. Barely surviving the onslaught of all these uh, curious people here. Hmm. Okay, so let's go knight b3. I'm going to do uh, ah, bishop c2, of course. But there is rook c1. Haha. I am not allowing you to play c4 immediately. No, sir. So I take on b4. And then Madagascar. I love that cartoon. What, what about Madagascar? I live in Africa. Oh my god. Uh, do I live in Africa? You know, you know there's a famous uh, saying like um, if somebody says to you one thing, you should immediately vehemently oppose, but if he says it twice, it's like blame yourself. But if he if he says it a third time, like you know, just pull on that harness and uh, be it. Um, that was about the horse, right? Somebody calls you a horse. It's just like first time you do, punch him, right? Second time, uh, somebody uh, tells you you're a horse. You should just uh, you know do something about it, but uh, realize that it must be a problem if people can tell you that. But if the third time they tell you your horse, just, you know, pull on the harness and uh, etc. He's streaming from Russia. Yes, I'm streaming from Russia. Um, correct, sir. This is Russian stuff here. So, 
this is uh, going to show you the importance of the structure, right? Black is stuck with this uh, pawn on a6. However, he is almost ready to castle and do some uh, something here. So the question is, should I try to change the queens? And the answer is, let's try. Because if you don't try, you cannot find out. Uh, the second plan would be to play for e4, rook e1, and then uh, try to make or break the play in the center. So I'm going to... But queen c7 is such a chicken move, yeah? Just going for that stupid exchange. I mean, black will just probably play c5 and survive. Probably. So, okay, we can do it probably this way, right? Let's play rook a2 first. Because if he plays king d7 now, then I don't have to exchange the queens. And then I can play for the center. But if he castles, then I can play queen c7 and exchange the queens, because that king will be way too far. Um, but I guess guns. Um, I absolutely love that cartoon. That was, that was a fantastic cartoon. That was just one of my all-time all favorites. Especially that scene with the, um, with the giraffe, right? He was about to sacrifice, and he says, any last words? He says, I love you, Gloria! I was like, and Gloria is like a hippo, yeah? Besides, actually, she is a hippo, yeah? So everybody's like, what? I'm like, okay. Um, A5. Um, yep, my strategy was not a success. Black successfully solved his problems. Uh, let's try to be a little bit more creative and... Um, you know, the, the thing in chess is uh, you have to do your absolute best to try to make your life, uh, to make the life uh, as hard as possible for your opponent. So even the position looks equal, it probably is equal. You know, learn from the computer. He always finds those nuances where he can make your life absolutely, absolutely miserable, right? So learn from that um, and use that to your advantage. That's one of the things I can tell you right now. Um, that's one of the lessons. Uh, hope those are good lessons. So queen h4. I'm low on time. So let's play f4. Let's try to go for the break. Uh, grab. Uh, bishop grabs. Uh, queen g5. Attempt to um, go to the end game. Yes, end game. Please, please the end game. No, no the end game. No to the end game. Ooh. Why not? Rook c5. Check. Alright, b5. Uh, queen f5. Uh, grab the pawn. Attack. Attack. Rook b6. Ah, he makes a draw. No, no, no draw. No draw, no draw, no draw. This is win. Okay. All right. Um, what? Uh, Magnus uh, got his white. Dominguez is black. Why? Why? If you're better on time, uh, that's very good advice. I just want to get his thoughts on this. His game against Sam Shackle was pretty cool. That dude from Norway is kind of also good. That dude from Norway. Exactly. Which dude are we talking about from Norway? For example, there is also a dude named Hammer, a very strong GM from Norway, right? I don't know if you can call him a dude, but I guess you can probably call anybody a dude, right? So, um, the dude named Magnus is uh, not really a dude. It's like that scene from Avengers, the movie, right? Remember when Thor got picked up by the, uh, um, by that uh, Motley crew? Um, and, uh, and, 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 and Quill was saying, like, this dude, right? And, um, and, and, and what, what was the other guy's name, right? And he said, like, you're a dude. He is not a dude. He is the man, right? <laughs> so that, that's, uh, um, yeah, the Star Lord. But remember that scene, right? Where he got really jealous and he said, like, stop massaging his muscles. And, um, right, so that's, that's the part where he said, um, like, you're a dude. He is not a dude. Yeah, Drax said it, exactly. Uh, I thought it was hysterical. I absolutely love those movies, you know. 
that <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, guardians. Exactly. Those are the guardians, right? Yeah. Yeah, Drax was funny, you know? I would never have taken such a big guy. He was, uh, what, former pro wrestler, right? I'm not sure. Um, but he was uh, famous before this movie already. But that movie just made him even more, I guess. Yeah. And says, like, I mastered this ability that if I stay very quiet for a long time, I become invisible. Dude, that, that's just, just master class right there. Um, okay. So, um, Bishop T5, I guess, right? There's a guy asking for model players for London system. Dude, you're looking at one of the best players ever, right? But okay, um, modern players. Cramley played London, not very much, but he did. So I would recommend going over his games. Uh, of course, Magnus plays it sometimes, so that's another one. So basically, if you find any top player I would say 2700 level player playing London system. Those are must see games. Okay? And read the Sedlax book. Sedlax book, that's the book I recommend uh, before I read, uh, before I create any of my own content on the, uh, on the matter. That's the one book I would recommend. Okay? So that's about it. He, he wants to exchange my knight. I don't like that. Um, I really don't like that. So let's play knight c4. Let's try to hustle a little bit. Uh, but how good will be my hustle? Yeah. Mm. I was I was thinking about playing knight d6, knight d4, knight c3, but I see that that was the hallucination. Right. Okay. So I have to play knight e5 because now I got a c3 square. Potentially. Potentially. Doesn't mean anything right now. It means only in the future there is such a thing. So bishop f6 maybe. I need to do something with my king. I need to get my king aloof because those rooks, if they get on the 8th rank, I am dead. As simple as that. I absolutely destroyed them. Or on the 7th. Uh, white is winning. Well, white is not winning because I have a bishop and two pawns versus rook, which is pretty good materials, uh, material um, correlation. However, my pawns are blocked, my bishop is not that great, so technically speaking, white indeed has the advantage. However, I have more time, I am more experienced, and hopefully the combination of these two factors will lead me to something good. Ah, no, it doesn't. Too bad. Um, queen a3. Queen a5. Survive. Trying to survive here. Um, yeah, that rook on c6 is really well placed. Really, really well placed. Really. Uh, the idea is to play bishop g7. And then try to sort of start pushing the pawns here. It's not going to be easy. Things will get downright nasty here, but we have to push the pawns. Otherwise, we are finished. I am finished, I mean. Uh, queen, rook c7. Let's grab this one pair of rooks. Um, mm, yeah, because he was trying to play rook second to c6 and grab this pawn. And that pawn falls, I'm dead. That much I can tell you. So grab here. Ooh, uh, what's going on? Well, he wants to take everywhere, I guess. Um, wow. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. E4, FE4, King H6, uh, C2, yeah, I'm lost, okay, I'm lost, definitely lost here. Mm, grab e4. Not completely lost, but I still feel like I'm lost. Mm, grab the pawn. Bishop d4. Ok, 
Okay, this is lost. Okay, uh, good job. So, um, right. So let's uh, go and see. He wants to play more. Right. It, it it will be unmanly to to leave after you lose the game, right? So okay. So let's try more. Uh, what's the total score? Three to one. So let's play some Sicilian, right? Why you guys have exchange? Uh, why you gave up exchange for no reason? I had bishop and two pawns, dude. It was a good enough reason to me. So I thought I had uh, I would trick him. You know, sometimes the things like that, tricking your opponent. Or you believe you're better than him, you're stronger than him, you can do anything. Um, although sometimes that does happen when you're high, but uh, in chess it is possible. So, and I thought he was a dude, yeah. It turned out to be that I was a dude, but he was a man. Okay, um, so this is classic. Did he say sometimes it happens when you're high? Yeah, I said that, didn't, didn't I? And when I mean high, it means it could be any source of being high. It could be... Uh, the source can be running. I used to run a lot. And uh, suddenly, you know that feeling? You're running, 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 you feel tired, and then boom! Ooh, you feel good. So, um... So, things like that happen. Can you play an old rate variation? Um, we don't run. Yes, you play football, Americans. You play football. You score. Okay, I'm still kind of surprised, you know, in the U.S. Soccer, right, became popular with the women's team. For some reason, I don't think uh, men's team in soccer, the, the... I could be completely wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously among you guys are professionals, right? So, um, in soccer, in the U.S., I think it's only with women playing, yeah? Are there like any famous men's team? Um, super gems have the most super masculine vibe. No, 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 they don't. However, they have this very competitive vibe. That is for sure. Very the most competitive vibe you can ever find in anybody there is. Because you have to be, you have to feel very competitive. You have to be and uh, feel. Be and feel at the same time. Otherwise, um, so, what is this position? Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't like my position, but let's get the bishop back to c1 so he doesn't close the files. Next, we want our rook on the g file, and we want to attack this g pawn. Oh, and he wants to play f6, maybe also. That is nice trick. That is a nice trick, dude. Okay, so, um, fine. That was a good job. You tricked me. Uh, good job. So, f6 is probably coming. I have to play h4, kick this knight out. And I need to do something. Uh, I need to triple on the g-file, do something really fast before black manages to survive this position. So, let's do precisely that. He wants to crush the opponent's skull. That's metaphorical speaking, but um, if you played Gary, then you would know what it's like. What is that feeling like? Um, you really don't want to play against Gary. Uh, you feel like you actually are being crushed. Physically and metaphorically speaking. Hmm. So, rook g6 maybe. Try to get the rook to g1, right? Um, have to block with the bishop, I guess. Hmm, I don't know how to evaluate this position. If black manages to survive the attack, he will be okay. But the question is, will he survive this attack? Uh, he finds this trick move with queen c4. I have to play probably here, yeah, just to get that queen off my bishop. That sounds really bad, yeah, to get the queen off the bishop. Jesus, okay. All right. But fact it remains, you know, that queen is on to my bishop. Um, 
whatever you, you call it, uh, some sort of mental issue. But now I have queen g2 and rook takes h6. So we managed to trick our opponents. We managed to get him. Yeah, queen hitting the bishop. Yeah. All right, so uh, it's time to say thank you to my opponent. Thank you for the games. And uh, we're going to look for another opponent. So let's add some pressure this time. Let's make it 2750, 2650. And let's hit the king. Queen hitting the bishop, right. Uh, yeah. Well, Gary taught Magnus, right? Without Gary, Magnus would not be who he is today, for sure. Also, Nakamura, he also had some uh, training with Gary, and I believe that helped him quite a lot. Okay. But uh, can you imagine? So, if Gary was basically helping all the top players, they would be all be top 10, top 5, top 3 in the world. How? Can you, be, can you imagine what would have happened? So he, he, he can't help everybody, yeah? He helps only those that can afford him. Uh, so that means if you want to be really top world-class championship material, you need to have good sponsors to pay for your education. Um, that's, that's the rumor that I heard as well. Uh, that is the rumor. Um, that is also I heard. That's also something that I heard. Um, again, it's all hearsay. I cannot uh, confirm, neither deny all this stuff. You know, there is such a thing in chess as the yellow press. Yeah. Um, if you know the Russian, then uh, chessnews.ru is a very good source for a lot of things. Chess related, not necessarily a politically correct stuff, but uh, it's a great source of material. Uh, the guy who is doing this work is uh, named uh, Evgeny Surov. So um, I think any self respecting grandmaster goes to his website at least once in a while uh, to check what is going on there. So Queen B6 was the loss of time, I guess, but I can probably take this pawn, right? and play something like rook c8. So let's see if this works. Their website does look ancient because uh, they recently ran out of uh, funds and they've been actually looking for sponsors to help with their site. Now this is the interesting part of this game. This is the part where I actually love to sacrifice the spawn and I took this uh, method from Bobby Fischer. He used to play knight h5 in such positions. So thank you to Bobby Fischer for this move. I think that Black gets a really good compensation in exchange for his measly pawn. Um, because Black gets a strong pair of rooks. He has huge presence on the board. The only thing he has to watch out is usually um, White can try to create some mating threats here, right? So Black has to be careful. So let's start by trying to be really fast about it and get this rook to c2, thanks to that knight on d3. Controlling a really vital square on c1. So rook goes to c2. And we're going to go for that uh, probably b4, knight f4 stuff. I think knight f4 looks pretty good because if so, knight g3, knight f4, that's one of the ideas. Uh, b4, opening the queen, looks pretty good. And I have to watch out for that knight g3, knight f5, or knight g3, knight h5 stuff. That's the only thing I'm worried about. So we have to take care of that. How are we going to do that? I have no idea quite yet. Um, knight b2, just grabbing, going pawn grabbing doesn't feel right. So let's do knight f4 check. And probably queen d3. Try to get my queen in the game. Ah, I could have taken on f5 and played queen d3, right? That would have been better, of course. Uh, I cannot take on d2. Ah. Miscalculations happen. Knight f3. Uh, he threatens to take on d6. I probably have to take this thing and take on b2. Oh, so I play the same kid, right? 
So it's basically the same kit. Um, grab this. Bishop is under attack. Where to put this bishop? Probably a 2e5. Knight c4, correct. I have to play f6, I guess. Try to cement my bishop here and bring my king into the game. Uh, I don't think he, sh he, he took on f6 uh, correctly, uh, but it is a playable move. But now, king f6, king f5, rook c8. I think black is better now. He just fixed all my problems with all my structure. His knight was much stronger than my bishop. Your opinion on the Fabiano? Gotta can I repeat my question about Utelki system? Utelki system? What is a Utelki system? Hi, hello? Please uh, let me know what is a Utelki system? I've never heard about such thing. Um, check probably has to be done. And pawn grabbing has to be done, right? Yeah, I have to grab this pawn anyway. Um, you talk a system is apparently hippo. Oh, hippo. Yes. Um, if you're talking about the lecture on the hippo, you can't put it in one lecture. So um, I'll probably do a few series on uh, lectures. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay, great. Uh, I'm good. And you? Um, okay. Uh, what's funny when we were in the walk and this game was Kasparov. Uh, I was looking like, what the f Okay, um, different tastes, different places, yeah? Okay, I want to play somebody different. Uh, what is this guy's rating? 27, 31? I want to play somebody different. Uh, let's play somebody who is um, 27, uh, 50, yeah? Is he below 750 or is he the question on how to play in the best way versus that system? Um, okay, let's make it 2800 just to be absolutely sure. Okay, great game. All right, um, the best way to play against the system, you cannot beat it immediately. It's not like it's grow, right? This is not an incorrect opening. It is an inferior opening. It's like uh, first tire openings, uh, main principled openings, right? E4, D4, second tire, uh, English, red D, you know, all that kind of stuff. And there's a third tire, which is like Alekhine, which is like... Uh, I would say Pierce is the second tire system, so but Alekhine is definitely in Scandinavian, right? So Scandinavian, Alekhine, and uh, Hippo, they're about the uh, third tire opening uh, level. And then, of course, you have your group and uh, basically, what, like A3 or E3. Bong is the... Uh, is a crazy um, mm, level tire opening. Okay, that's all I can say. Ready is tire too, because it's not the most principled uh, opening in the world. You're postponing your game for the uh, uh, playing for the advantage uh, until the middle game. But because you're not playing passively, you yes, you are still sort of like playing and fighting for the center, and that is the reason why it's tire two, not tire three. Okay. Accelerated bomb cloud is star one plus. You know, I should probably do the badges since you guys are so interested in this. I'll ask some professional, uh, probably, person who is very good in all this graphic stuff. So we'll make you guys badges, right? We'll make you tire one hippo, tire two bonk, clouds, uh, something in between, and then we'll have also something like that, yeah? So we have different badges, different uh, openings. And you can then proudly say, I'm a bone cloud uh, bash holder. That's who I am. Okay. Um, and again, maybe it's just pipe dreams, right? Do you like the Evans Gambit? I have huge respect for Gambits. Huge respect. Especially Italian games. Chepursius. I have no idea who this guy is, so let's play London System and test him. Basically, I play London System just to test my opponents. Like, what is their level of chess understanding? How are they reacting to the system? And, uh, because uh, the way black plays now, it basically tells me everything I need to know. So let's play bishop e2. That was this absolutely amazing game I played London, I still remember, in this exact position. It was against Grishuk, and it was Saloniki 12-13. Uh, 
If you guys can uh, look that game up, I highly recommend it. Because it was a bloody fantastic game. And the idea is, you play queen a4, and then queen h4, and you go for that attack. Alright? Elikheim played knight f6 because he was drunk and saw d4 on the first board. That's a good legend. That's a good legend. But uh, that's the, this. But I'm talking about this position, right? So rook d1 first. They will sort of like create this uh, threat, and now queen goes to h4, and we go for that knight g5, knight e4, mad, mad, uh, mad attack, mad doctor attack. Ooh. On the other hand, if I take play knight g5, he plays h6, knight e4. He can take on e5. Then yeah, can he? No, he cannot. Boom. So that's how you play. That's how you want to play London. You want to be very aggressive, you want to go straight for the Black King, and that's the best way to play London. That's how I usually like to play my London systems. Okay, so the threat is actually to play Knight of 6 now, right? Because um, Knight of 6 check. Um, right, you can do that, but then um, we have um, we have something. We're supposed to have something here. But what is it? I don't see it. Um, where is my compensation, right? Where is it? So let's play h4 first. I sort of I need that h5 break anyway, right? So uh, how much will it chance the psychology? It is huge amount of psychology, absolutely huge. So okay, so let's play f4. You know who cares? We're gonna go h5 and h6 pretty soon. Anyway, and. Um, Nobody cares about rooks. There is mate at stake. H6. H takes G6. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be completely uh, clouded. My judgment could be clouded with all these uh, ideas of a mate. Yeah, trying to play in the style of the great, uh, great champions. Uh, so here, H6. Well, at least I bamboozle my opponent, right? Sack first, find compensation later. Yeah, that's how it works in Blitz, especially. Impersonating Tal? No, I'm not impersonating Tal. I can, you can never impersonate Tal. But if bishop f6, pawn takes on e5, bishop g5, queen h8, mate, right? So that means my opponent probably, and if f5, then knight g2 check, and queen takes g5. That is That was smart. That was very smart on my opponent's part. So, um, hmm. Not easy. Okay, so I have to get this. I have to take this, and I have to take this thing. And uh, basically, we're back to normal chess, right? Uh, what did he do? He has to take the rook, and I will have two minor pieces uh, with a fantastic play because he got weaknesses all over the place, right? My knight is absolutely fantastic on f6, of course, or g5. That is the question, yeah? f6 or g5? Actually, I like g5 more, because then I can hit his pawn on f7. Just castle. And boom! That pawn on f7 is under attack. So you see, no automatic moves. If you play automatically, you lose. So your goal in chess is not to play any automatic moves. That's number one goal. Bishop e3. And we're hitting this pawn, so we can go around and... Um, Mm. And we do not want to exchange the rooks. We want to keep the rook. Because, uh, as I mentioned at the earlier video, in Steinis, right? You need to keep uh, your binary pieces on for the attack. To attack uh, your opponent's weaknesses. So let's play bishop e2. Of course, I could have played b4 immediately, but uh, let's be real. Um, and now I want to play b4. And then bishop d4. So that's the trick I want to do, right? So bishop d4. And of course, rook f1 is coming. A lot of things are coming. And black is basically lost. Because there is no way he can avoid this pin. It's like staying there forever. The forever pin. And anything can now be played. Uh, probably bishop b6 is the best. And then g4, g5 some point. So it's check. Um... Bishop f6, probably. And uh, black is completely lost. Right. So, does he want to rematch? Let's give him a rematch. 
something wrong, a uh, very nice attack ends up a little even. Right, so you see, it's always a good idea to attack if you feel like your pieces are there. You, sh you, you don't worry about sacrificing stuff and seeing concrete results because as we have seen in those historical World Championship matches, sometimes you can just sack the piece, right? And if you get that attack going, if you get some sort of uh, compensation in the form of superior pieces, open king on your opponent part, it's, it's always very hard to find the correct defensive moves if they are not obvious and to attack is much easier. So um, attack, attacking chances general in general are much easier to do than defensive chess. Alright, so he doesn't want to play anymore. Um, Alright, so let's uh, do another challenge. So the tournament starts in about uh, 15 minutes, right? We have 3,360 uh, players already registered for the charity tournament. I strongly encourage you guys to join the tournament as well. Okay. Oh, my opponent was Ivan Chiparinov, I see. Okay, so, yeah, usually he was the one attacking me, usually. So, um, um, yeah, so that, this was unusual. He was probably expecting me to go for his throat so, so much. Yeah, because I, in, in tournament chess, I play more cautiously. But this was um, this was a pretty game, by the way. I like it. Um, and Ivan has a very good score against me in classical chess. Um, there was some crazy Grand Prix game in the Grunfeld. He beat me, I was winning, but then he completely uh, outplayed me in my time trouble and I had blundered and then he beat me in a critical game in the Gibraltar. I lost the game to him and then he won the tie break and he won the tournament. So um, that was a huge thing. Alright, um, so let's check uh, if there are some people willing to play me. Uh, let's um, go to chess.com for a second. Uh, can you guys see it? Um, all right, let's see who is here today. Ooh, we have a lot of people. Actually, let's challenge uh, Bortnik. No, I'm not gonna challenge. All right, let's uh, play and see who plays me. Stream's fine. Okay, so you can see the board, right? So let's see who is playing. Uh, only two one for Chepan. Not too bad. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not that bad, yeah, but he has a plus score anyway. Um, so let's see who wants to play me. Um, we can also add a second time control. This is the thing I like about chess.com because you can actually do the different time controls uh, more. Custom. Let's make it 3 plus 1, right? Okay, so let's make it 3 plus 1. And you can do uh, simultaneously at the same time, you can do several. Um, Thanks. Um, so let's do another one, which is um, three two, right? So let's do. Also, since we're at it, and since we are on the chess.com, let's do this. Uh, let's do the Fisher uh, random. Let's do it uh, three two. Okay, great. Um, that this is the reason why I don't uh, try to be a certain brand uh, streamer, so I can like go from. Lee Chess to Chesscom and back and forth, you know, not worrying about it. Great, so we have a challenger who is uh, 2300. See my rating in Fish Random Chess is only 2500. It's not that great. Um, the tournament starts soon, right? So um, let's keep an eye here. Um, so Fish Random Chess. If you guys don't like Fish Random Chess, you know, feel free not to watch this. I like Fish Random. I think it's an absolutely great uh, invention by Late Bobby. Uh, in fact, if you have seen some of the games that Wesley saw played in Fisher, he also beat Carson in the in the final match, and he became the first official Fish Random Chess uh, World Champion. Wesley saw, and um, so you know, it should tell you quite a lot of things about the the game. So how you castle is you do something like this. Um, right. Okay. Um, so let's bring the piece into the game. Let's play ninety four. Let's play f four because I don't want to be killed with f four f three. So we need to always to meet your opponent halfway. At least try to. And the question, of course, if Black takes on f four, what can you do? Because there is this move knight h5, right? Hitting the pawn on g7. 
and trying to capture back on f4. So we have to calculate if knight h4, f takes e3, knight g7, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because he, his king becomes really open. On the other hand, uh, I want to keep that knight h5 as potential threat. Of course, he can play knight h4 himself. So knight h5 take... Okay, so let's do that, right? So why not try it? Uh, let's, be, let's be bold. Uh, like Sloan and Coin. And, okay, there is nothing bold about this move. You just blundered me the queen. Okay. Right. I mean, it's move nine, move number eight, and people already blundering uh, stuff, right? I mean, the, I remember there was a game. Uh, there was a, a great series of tournament in Mines back, I think, ten years ago or so. It was absolutely fantastic tournaments. Uh, a lot of strong players. It's an open tournament in Germany. People come and um, and play chess, right? Uh, so let's make it three two. Let's also make it three zero. Uh, and there was Fisher Random tournaments, also open tournaments. So first time I'm playing the game, I played some okay weaker opponents, but then I'm playing Lemidyarov, right? So we're sitting in front of this uh, starting position. We have about 10 minutes to, to try to figure out what to do about it, yeah? So we start playing, and then on move 5, he was already a very strong player then. On move 5, he makes a move, and he blunders the minor piece. It was a knight on h1, so basically something like white's bishop on g1, knight is on h1, and uh, my bishop on g8, Right, and his pawn was somewhere, so he plays g3, and I played bishop d5, and I grabbed his knight on h1, and he was like, ah, and I was like, okay, so this must be something good in this game if a strong grandmaster can blunder a piece on move number five, okay? I mean, where else can you see something like that? Normally, these days, you play grandmaster, right? They go to your game, and you see them blitzing out first, like 15, 20 moves, not thinking about it, making a move, standing up, walking around. Then you make a move, they come back, think very quickly, make another move, and you go like, Pfft. okay. So that's what grandmasters do. But in Fisher Random Chess, there is no such thing. You know, grandmasters, they have to really use their brains, not their recognition pattern, not their prior experience. There's uh, nothing except the basic chess understanding. Uh, so, all right, so nobody wants to play me, right? Nobody wants to play me. We see some people playing here. I'm not going to comment on them. Uh, what is my current classical rating? I don't even know. Anyway, let's quit this. Let's go back to Lee Chess. Let's try to find another opponent. Okay, let's make it 2750. Why I'm so bad at Fisher Random Chess? Right, there is no... Because there is no... Uh, you cannot play chess, you cannot come to the game with the presets, pre-made uh, um, mindset, right? So, you have to approach each game differently because it's completely a different position. They finish playing. Who? Challenge Big Fish or Jordan? I don't want to challenge them. I just make an open challenge and then... Uh, Alright, so let's see if there is an open challenge actually. Let's see if there is an open challenge. Uh, how do you check it? If there is an open challenge, I forgot. Play. Uh, wasn't there some kind of research thing? Um, there was some graph or something. Um, more. I was never good at this thing. Um, nobody here? Nope. Um, Open challenges, where? Ah, there you go, right? So there is 2500 guy. No. I want somebody stronger. Right. Okay, so um, let's challenge. Let's challenge some of these guys, right? Let's challenge Hans. Hans, uh, we used to play him like um, message challenge. Okay, let's challenge Hans, right? 
I used to beat this kid when he was younger in the American Open tournaments. He, we, we played a lot of uh, Quashberg tournaments together. So let's see what he does. I mean, he grew up uh, since that time quite a lot. Um, ah! Okay, fine. Alright, so let's see who else we have. Um, uh, have Arabic Falcon. Who is this Arabic Falcon? I have no idea. He's playing. Who is Lunatic? No clue. Let's challenge him. Let's challenge Lunatic. In fact, let's challenge everybody. Let's challenge Drew. Drew. And let's challenge Wonderful Time. Okay. So what's going on? Um, any challenges? Nope. Somebody declined, right? Uh, God's challenging all champs called them. Um, Falcon. I, I think he declined, yeah? So he declined. No, he's actually playing. Who is he playing? Okay. Oh, we're playing Hans. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's play Hans. Let's see how he improves since all those years. Last time I played him was in uh, 16, maybe, which was four years ago. So let's see what happened. Um, DC, 6, eight, D7, let's play standard. Nothing funky, just standard chess. Um, Queen c7, rook c8 maybe first, yeah. Sort of create that small pressure, because I don't think queen on c8 is that great, to be honest. Also knight g4 is coming potentially. I should have played knight g4, that would give me almost winning position. Knight g4 now is not so bad either. So basically white is much worse already. Knight f3 is a huge threat because of uh, weak knight on c3, right? So knight f3 immediately, or rook c3 first. Alright, let's play rook c3 first. Um, right, but white is just uh, much worse, right? I mean, come on. Um, you want a rematch? Alright, let's do a rematch. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's give him a rest. Let's give him some rest. Let's play others. Bortnik probably declined, so let's challenge this guy. Oh, Muskalenka is online. He might play. Uh, challenge failed. Ooh. I right, challenge this guy, right? Uh, who else I want to challenge? Who do you want me to challenge? I will challenge everybody. Anybody want me to challenge? Uh, Lunatic didn't play. All these guys are playing, right? Sharp chess. He's playing. Who is this GM? Vlad Dobrov. Okay, he is another streamer, by the way. I know that he's streaming. And Tazbir. Let's challenge him. Fico Corrales. Okay, he's doing 24 hour stream. What is the tactic here? The tactic is here Queen c3, Knight f3 check. Knight cannot be captured, but if uh, King moves anywhere, the Knight takes d4 with the check. Discover check, and uh, tournament is starting in two minutes. Oh, it is. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Hold on a second. Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Hold on a second. Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Hold on a second. Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it is. Hold on a second. Alright, so let's go back to the chess. Oh, it 